Hey everyone, this is Ditto from Reef to Reef. In this video, we are going to show how easy it is to configure a Refugium light with your power bar via the GHL Connect app. So let's get started. On your Android or Apple device, find the GHL Connect icon and open up the application. With the GHL Connect application opened, you'll be presented with the devices configured for GHL Connect. Choose your Proflux controller. We need to first set the timer for our Refugium light. This is a time that we want the light to turn on and off. I like to set mine 30 minutes before the tank lights are out and to 30 minutes after my tank lights are turned on. Click on the hamburger icon in the upper left hand corner of the screen and choose processes. From this menu option you will see your 1 through 32 timer processes for your Proflux controller. Choose a timer. You will now enter the timer menu options. From here is where you will set your timer intervals. First, click on the switch mode and you'll see the types of modes that are available for your timer. Normal is used for hour to minute timers. Short is used for second timers. Automatic dosing is used for an example, a 1.1 milliliter doser is plugged into the power bar and you want it to dose it a specific amount per day by turning on and off the power bar. Manual dosing is that you set the timer interval and the dosage amount. Event start is used to tie the timer to another event. Last is cyclic, which allows you to set a repeat interval on and off. We'll be choosing normal as our switch mode. In your description, type in your description. For me, it's my Refugium light. Click save. Now click back in the upper left hand corner of the screen and choose timer one. Now let's set up the times. Click on the blue add button. This will now ask you what is the start. The time the refugium light will turn on. For me, this is 5.30 p.m. Now enter the end time. The time the refugium light will turn off, which for me is 6.30 a.m. Click on the add. Upon doing this, you will see your timers appear in the menu. Now we need to select the days we want our timers to be used. For me, it's every day. Click on the Monday through Sunday checkboxes. Or you can use the day interval options, which allows you to set a repeat of the timer and then set the starting days, which I could have entered repeat all in one starting in zero days. Click Save. Click back and now click on the hamburger icon in the upper left hand corner of the screen and choose switch channels. This is where you're going to configure your refugium light to a switch channel or the outlet your refugium light is plugged into. My refugium light is currently plugged into switch channel 3. Click on switch channel 3. I'm going to type in a description of refugium light. Then I'm going to choose from the function drop down menu, I'm going to choose time. Then I'm going to choose the functional parameter of 1. This was the process timer I set up in the earlier steps. Click save. And that's it. We successfully configured a refugium light to turn on and off based on a timer that you've set up plugged into your power bar. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Or as always, you can find me on Reef to Reef. This is Ditto, signing off.